Hi, I'm Miss Jane and I'm here with Suffolk Public Library with another DIY idea for everyday objects that you have in your house. So in front of me I have toilet paper tubes. You can also use paper towel tubes or the inside of wrapping paper, just any sort of cardboard tube. You can cut it down to whatever size you want. And right now I have unsharpened pencils. I like these just because there's no sharp edges and they're all the same length. But you can also use colored pencils, you can use pens. Um, you do really want to find something with a uniform length though because what we're going to be making today are Tinker Toys and it's a little bit easier to build with them if, you, if your connector is a uniform size. And so to make the Tinker Toys, I like to use a hole punch because it's pretty simple. But if you don't have a hole punch at home, you can make the holes using just any sharpened object pencil. You can use scissors. Um, you just want to like make a little bit of a, a dot to do your markers. And I like to make the dots ahead of time just so I know where I'm trying to put my holes. And you'll just use the pencil and you'll twist it to make the hole. And then once you've made the initial hole, you will use the pencil to widen it out to the regular length. Sorry. And the, with the hole punch, it's very simple. You can do, um, I have two different methods that I used. I have the simple method and the complicated method. And really the simple method is just four holes. You do really wanna try to make sure that you get the holes opposite each other because that helps with your building. Um, so for the simple method, I usually do four holes. For the complicated method, I usually put the holes in a zigzag. Um, it just gives a few more building options and um, lets you vary your build a bit. And so here's an example of one thing that I made. I made the Tinker Toys, I connected them with the pencils, and then now I'm at an impasse. How do I add the second level? And so to add the second level, there's a couple different options. You can just stack them on top. Or what I like to do is I like to cut slits in the cardboard. So I just take the scissors and then I cut a slit and then I use that to place the, the item on the toilet paper roll. And so here today I have built for you this is my beautiful robot. I have named him Wally. And I want to see what you guys can make at home. How big can you get your creations? Can you build a whole tower? Can you build a whole city? Uh, I want to see a princess castle. Whatever you've got, make sure you tag us. We are Suffolk Public Library. And take a picture. And don't forget to get those beanstack reading points. And I hope to see you soon.